Hello and what is up you guys? It is Michaela, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my summer shower routine when I'm trying to pamper myself and really smell good through this hot summer heat. As always, all the products and my social medias will be linked down below and let's get started. So I first start off in the shower by wetting my hair to prep for the shampoo and conditioner. And the shampoo and conditioner I'm using right now is Olaplex. I absolutely love Olaplex. I think I started using it maybe like three months ago and I definitely have noticed a difference in my hair, especially in regards to using the shampoo. I do like the conditioner, but I absolutely love the shampoo. If you have super oily hair like me and you feel like you wash your hair and not even a day later, it's like back to looking like it's somebody else's like second week hair, I definitely recommend trying out Olaplex. It is on the more expensive side, but when people say a drop of this goes a super long way, I can totally attest and agree to that. So I take a tiny amount of this and apply this all over my scalp and it really does cleanse my hair super well. And as you can see, I do go in with a second layer of shampoo. And the reason why I do this is just because I do have super oily hair. And I find that one cleanse really just doesn't do the job for me. So I always double cleanse with my shampoo. And then after I'm done with that, I'll go in with a hair mask using the Pacifica Pineapple Hydrate Curl Nourishing Mask. I used to put on my hair mask after I did my conditioner, but a lot of you guys in the comment section were telling me to try doing it before my conditioner, and I've actually really been liking doing it like that. Sometimes I honestly just forget to put it first, but when I do remember, I actually do notice a little bit of a difference. Just because the mask can better penetrate the hair shaft if you put it on first before the conditioner and then wash out the mask with the conditioner. So that's what I've been doing recently. So after that, I'll just throw my hair up in a bun and then I'll go in with a bar soap. Recently, I've just been using bar soap on my underarms just because I do use deodorant. And I really, oh, it's not just sitting there and I'm not reapplying new deodorant on top of old ones. So I really will just take a rag and really scrub at my underarms, make sure they're nice and clean. I used to scrub my entire body with the bar soap, but I don't know. Recently, I've just been doing my underarms and just using a regular liquid body wash. The liquid wash. body wash I'm using is the Tone Island Vibes Pineapple and Plumeria body wash. This one's okay. I wanted to give it a try. One, because like pink totally got me. I'm such a pink girl. And then also it smells really, really good. I love the scent of pineapple anything. The only problem that I have with this is that it is a gel consistency. It's just a personal preference, but I really like um, like the lotion-y, like creamy consistency when it comes to my body washes. I just find that they're a tad bit more moisturizing when I use those kinds versus these more jelly ones, but they still do get the job done and this one is really affordable, so I do recommend. And afterwards, I'm going in with the Treehut Chapa Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. This is one of my favorite scrubs from Tree Hut because I absolutely love the scent of it. It's supposed to be like the Bum Bum Cream from Sol de Janeiro, and I do think it smells a lot like it. It's a little bit lighter, but I really, really love the scent of it, and I love how fine and compact the little sugar beads are in here. So I'm taking a little bit of this and just scrubbing at my legs to prep for shaving. It's really important to exfoliate before you shave just so you can get a closer shave. I feel like the hive has kind of died down around Tree Hut recently, so definitely pick it up if you can find it in stores. I really do like this one and it adds a nice little glow to your skin because it has these little shimmers in it. The scent definitely might not be for everyone, but as for the actual like glow and properties that it's supposed to be for, I really like it and then i'm going in with the cremo moisturizing shave cream and coconut mango this one i have a love hate relationship with the cremo products i think that they work really well if you can make them work well they are super thick and just not your normal shave cream i guess i'm a shave foam person i like when it really lathers up on your skin and i feel like the cremo one you really have to work into your skin they are a little bit more expensive but but the purpose of them is that you can literally use like a penny size amount and it's supposed to cover your entire leg. As you can see, I'm kind of working it into my skin and I really did use just the tiniest dollop and it really does cover the entire surface. It's just a personal preference, but I prefer the foams over these like lotion-y type of shaving creams. But I will say the coconut mango scent is pretty elite and I do get a close shave when I use this. I probably wouldn't repurchase it, 
but I really do like it for this kind of shower routine when I'm using a bunch of fruity scents. I just think it goes along with it really well. And I'm using the Cremo shave product with just this random razor. I think this is from like Walmart or Target brand. And I'm just shaving the hair off of my legs. I just prefer shaving. It's a personal thing. You don't have to if you don't want to, um, but I like to shave my legs, especially in the summertime. And for shaving there, I like to use the Gillette Venus Skin Smoothing Exfoliant. It is the most finest scrub. Like, it's basically not really a scrub. It has the most tiniest microbeads, but I really like using this before shaving down there. It's like absolutely critical and super necessary that you exfoliate before you shave down there. So yeah, it's just really critical that you exfoliate down there just so you're not like burning up and just to minimize ingrowns. Next, I'm using the Gillette Venus 2-in-1 Cleanser and Shave Gel. This is actually pretty good for a cleanser. I don't personally use it for a cleanser but definitely it's a nice two-in-one it's this clear consistency little lubricant so that you can shave it down there i really really like this shave gel it gives me such a close shave and i feel like it adds a nice barrier so that i can get close enough shave without feeling like cutting myself so i really like this product for shaving down there 100 recommend and then i'm going in with the honey pot sensitive foaming wash i've given honey pot a million different tries and i'm finally starting to like it i've been trying to find a good like natural ish cleansing wash for down there if you guys have any recommendations please let me know but right now i'm experimenting with honey pot i do like this blue one over the orange one and here i'm just demonstrating to you guys it's this little foam you just shake it up a little bit and um it foams foams up and cleanses really nice then i'm just taking my hair out of my bun and getting ready to put on some conditioner so next for conditioner i'm using the olaplex bond maintenance conditioner like i said i do like this however i don't know if i would necessarily repurchase the conditioner the shampoo is my baby but the conditioner is pretty good but it is super expensive so if you're picking one or the other i would say to pick the shampoo but for now i'm trying to finish up the conditioner i take a little bit of this and just run it through my ends and i kind of mix it with the mask and then i'll wash them out together and i just find that my hair has so much like shine and it's super easy to detangle afterwards i have pretty dry and matted hair sometimes and so having some Something that gives it a little bit of some cushion to brush through later is really really nice so yeah i do really like the olaplex conditioner but i do think it's a little bit more basic i'm sure you can find something a little bit cheaper at the drugstore not sure if it has better properties but um that's just my opinion so then i'm just washing out both the conditioner and mask and i forgot to share with you guys me applying this one but if you want to know what leave-in cream i use i use the coconut hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie from shea moisture i just use it because i really like this scent it smells so so good fruity and then i use the sol de janeiro rio deo um aluminum free deodorant i actually am aluminum free i don't know if i've told you guys that but i became aluminum free maybe like six months ago i don't know why i'm talking about it like it's a religion that i converted to so this is the deodorant i'm using right now i have a love-hate relationship with this one i think out of all of these sol de janeiro products this has to be my least favorite but i'm using it up so far i absolutely love the scent of it it smells so good and like vanilla and just cookies like pistachio super super good but it's a little bit on like the wetter side and it's super super mushy and sometimes i feel like it stains my clothes so take what you can with that but i am using it up and as you can see i kind of like rub my underarms afterwards just to get rid of that white cast that it leaves speaking of sol de janeiro of course i'm obsessed with the brazilian bum bum cream this thing of course smells super super good and it's really hydrating to my skin it does leave a little bit of that white cast that people talk about but to me i kind of like that maybe if i'm not in a rush i like it more because it reminds me to really rub my lotion into my skin sometimes when i'm rushing and if a uh, lotion is a little bit more on the like liquidy side i can just kind of rub it on my skin and not really like rub it into my skin this one reminds me to actually like really nourish and rub it into my skin so that's why i like it and it gives me a nice glow and shine and honestly the sense of this will last you all freaking day this thing smells so good and i swear you can just wear the lotion and people will still compliment you on how good it smells 
So I'll apply it all over my arms and then all over my legs. And then afterwards, I go in with my Brazilian Crush Charosa 62. This is the pistachio and salted caramel scent. It is the matching little sibling to the Bum Bum Cream or the Boom Boom Cream. I'm sorry, I keep saying that wrong. Boom Boom Cream. So I'm going in with this and this is a body and a hair mist. So you'll see me spray it all over my body. It honestly lasts so, so long for being a body mist. Sol de Janeiro is probably one of the most elite brands at making long-lasting mist. I swear it can hang up my clothes and to come back to it in a week and it still smells like whatever Sol de Janeiro product I sprayed on it. So I'll spray this all over my body and then spray it all over my hair and you will smell like this all day long. And then I'm going in with the Pacifica Island Vanilla Perfumed Hair and Body Mist. I love the scent of this. It smells so, so good. It smells like a vanilla bean ice cream. The only thing is this does not last at all like it'll probably last like five minutes but it's really the experience so i like to spray this in my hair and it makes my hair smell like a vanilla bean ice cream it's so good and then just to seal off all my body care i'm going in with this anastasia shimmer body oil oh my freaking goodness this thing is so so cool you will look like a glowy goddess like you will look so so shimmery so bronzy like the glitter reflexes in this are so elite i have so many of these little bronzing like shimmer tools but the anastasia one actually does like gold reflexes on you it's insane i love this product it makes me look super shimmery super shiny super glowy and i don't know if they still sell it anymore this is pretty old but I do really like this. And if you're trying to find a dupe for it, I also own the ColourPop Soul Bronzing Glow thing, my bobber. And that one works really well too. It's not as like glittery, but it does give you that really, really nice glow and shine from within. And that one adds a little bit more of a bronzy sheen. So if the bronzy look is more reality than the shimmery look, check out the ColourPop one. And of course, I'm gonna seal all this in with a lip oil. This one is from Kylie Jenner, I think. Her, I don't know, just wearing lip gloss or lip oil makes me feel so put together. So I had to throw that little thing in okay you guys that was actually it for today's video i do hope you guys enjoyed seeing what i do to beat the summer heat and want to feel a little bit extra don't forget to leave me a like and a comment down below but you guys already know i love you oh so so much and i'll talk to you very very soon